Before I landed, I saw a spaceship. You landed on the ground. Before you landed, you saw a spaceship. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Tell Inside me. Inside the spaceship. Inside of it. I didn't see much. I just saw like it was light, not too bright, but like a bluish light. Mm-hmm. You saw inside of the spaceship. Uh huh. How did you see the inside the spaceship? Were you inside of it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. why don't we go back? Let's go back to that spaceship that you saw. Okay. Let's go back, back inside, to the spaceship. Let's see. Let's see what this is about. And if you can tell me, what shape is the spaceship? It feels like it's oval. Mm -hmm. Is there any colors to it? Like it's inside, like it's luminescent. Luminescent. Like a bluish luminescent hue. And it's oval. Is it oval going up and down or side to side? Up and down. Mm -hmm. And tell me, how is it that you enter into this spaceship? I just floated in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see, let's see somewhere, somewhere that is significant, where we will find answers in the spaceship. Tell me what you're seeing. I see like, like a seat and... You see a seat? A seat and then some controls. And I saw before, I saw like a, a being and it feels like the being was like, it had an oval head also. Mm -hmm. And I feel like no hair. The being has no hair? No hair. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they were bluish also. Describe, do they have eyes? I didn't, I didn't see the eyes. Describe what he looks like. It's facial, facial features. Well, I see two eyes and they're blue mm -hmm. with um, iris, irises. Mm -hmm. I faintly see this. Mm -hmm. Does does he have a nose? I don't know. I just saw like a faint image when I first saw the being, and mm -hmm. when he asked me, I saw like blue eyes flashing to my face. And you said he has a oval face. Is that like a elongated oval face, or just like a regular oval? It's like oval and then on the top it's just bigger um like a like like it's long like it's, it's like fatter on the top mm -hmm. but it's still oval mm -hmm. okay like bigger bigger head like up top if that makes sense mm -hmm. you're able to see and sense this being here and if you could keep looking at it, do you feel that it's female, male, or both? I feel a male presence. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel like he's really sweet. Mm -hmm. And I feel chills all over me. And I feel like they're, he's, he's giving me a hug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does he have any? Uh -huh, go ahead. I just feel happy, happy to be there. Mm -hmm. Does he have any ears? My first impression was pointy ears. And look at his arms and his legs. Does he seem like he's shorter than you, taller than you? I feel like we're the same because I feel like I am one of that same kind of being. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's look at you. Let's look at you. Look at yourself. Look down at your feet. Are you wearing anything on your feet? No. Do you have any toes? 
feel like I have three or four. What color? And what I feel color? blue. You feel blue too. Okay. Is there any other colors to the blue? No. And look at your hands. How many fingers do you have? Three. I feel like my arms and legs are long. Long? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And skinny. Are you wearing any clothing? I feel like I have like a robe on white with gold, a gold belt, and it's flowy. I feel like my fingers like are like long, mm -hmm. but at the end they have like a little circular, like a little ball on each finger. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that my toes are like that too. Is there any jewelry you're wearing? I feel like I'm wearing a necklace. I see a necklace, gold. <laughs> And a blue stone in, in, at the end of it. With a blue stone? Is there any oh. designs? It's held in by gold, like how our mm -hmm. rings are held in. Mm -hmm. um, the stones are held in. Is there any shapes to the necklace? It's like long. Mm -hmm. um, that goes like almost between my breast and my belly button. Mm -hmm. That's where the stone hits. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the the robe is also open, like not open, but you know, like mm -hmm. like it's it. The necklace comes right where it closes, like it kind of shows breast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And of course, I feel like a female. Very good. And the stone is big and shiny, really mm -hmm. shiny. And uh, do you have breasts? Oh, it's hard to say because going back and forth between me and myself now. And mm -hmm. I feel like no, no, I, I don't think I do. <laughs> okay. Not big ones, at least. Is there anything you're carrying? Before you asked that, I saw like a crown on my head. Mm -hmm. Just like, I saw a crown on his head too, though. So. Describe the crown. Gold, just gold, and it's got, it lifts up like right over the eyebrows, mm -hmm. like on the edge, on the outer edge of the eyebrows. Of where where we have eyebrows and uh, mm -hmm. and dips down in the middle between those two peaks and then it goes around the, the head like all the way around. Mm -hmm. and does it have any crystals? No, <laughs> maybe there's two. Maybe mm -hmm. there's two tiny ones at the top. <laughs> I mm -hmm. Like I mean, right where they. Um, above the eyebrows on the outside, where it dips up very at the very top, there's two. And if I'm carrying something, it looks like I'm carrying like, a, like scrolls. Mm. Describe the scrolls to me. What do they look like? Kind of big and almost like cloth, and there's tassels hanging off of them. And it's rolled up and it's in my arm. Are you able to open any of the scrolls? I can. How do you open them? Just to roll them open. But the first thing I, I saw that came to my mind was writing that I don't recognize. I mean, like, I saw, like, mm -hmm. like the first thing I saw was, like, um, like a line. And then, uh, like a fork that goes down, but the line at the top was very short. And then mm -hmm. there's fork, and then a line in between, where, like a three, three fork. And it was like really curvy. And that was the first thing I saw. Is higher self? Can you see if she can memorize some of these letters, some of these, this language here? See if she can memorize them. Perhaps she can try to draw it when she 
comes to. Thank you. Okay. Now, what is it that you're doing here besides carrying the scrolls? What are you doing with these? Seems like I, I have the scrolls out, me and my friend are going to look at them. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why. You have a friend? The man, the man oh, that I saw the in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you both are looking at them now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look into his eyes, look into his eyes. See if you're able to recognize his soul. Do you recognize his soul? It seems like he, his eyes, when I first saw them, they're like so blue and they do remind me of, they remind me of three different people. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure. But don't. three different boyfriends I had in, throughout my life. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and proceed, proceed. See what it is that you're doing with these girls with him. We're in, we're in a room with a big table, and we have the scrolls out on the table. What the room looks like? It's uh, kind of big, um, not, not really big, but uh, like the curves in the wall or on the wall, like there's no like sharp edges or anything. It's like real smooth and, and like it, where the wall goes to another wall perpendicular, it's like, curvy like um like you could put your hand on it and there's no like corner sharp corners and um the table is white and and it lights up you know like there's like a it's everything is kind of illuminated mm -hmm. and Okay, so I'm going to sit down and the chair as I'm at the end of the table and he's standing there and we have the, the scrolls out and God, I don't know what we're doing though, but we are in space. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Just continue, continue to describe what even if you don't understand it, just, just keep describing what you're seeing and sensing. I sense us looking at the earth mm -hmm. and I see like rainbows coming off of the earth. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, we're talking about it and maybe I'm just imagining it as myself there, but mm -hmm. the earth is rainbow, rainbow lights. It's there is rainbow lights and coming out of the yes, earth. Yes, yes, and I feel like it's the earth is it's going to be okay, and I'm so excited for it. And mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> and is there is it many rainbows coming out? Yeah, it's really bright. And when you can connect, you're able to connect to where the rainbows are coming from. On Earth, is there spots or places or people that they're connecting to? It seems like it's coming through the Earth and from the people, but through the Earth, like from the inside. And it's just like all the way on the, it's like um, circling almost, not circling, but radiating. Like I could see, like, it's not like rainbow waves or anything. It's like, like, you know how so when you see, like, um, holographic stickers, stickers, mm -hmm. and then, uh, like, it's, like, like, colors come up off of the image. Mm -hmm. It's like that. And it's all kind, it's, like, all kind of different shapes of um, bright to, 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 like, light colored rainbows, but not, like, not, like, neon, um, like a light neon. How about that? Light neon. Mm -hmm. 
And, and mm-hmm. go ahead. And you said that they're coming out from the inside of the earth. Yes, it's coming from the out, outside. It's coming from the inside of the earth, mm-hmm. but um, like it's picking up people and in places and and then that's a reflection of the rainbow that's coming outside of and is surrounding the earth okay it's like beams beaming out Mm -hmm. let's see if we can follow through let's follow through all the way down into the earth and see where the source of this is creating from what do you see what do you sense i see a blue a blue crystal inside the earth mm-hmm. it's happy and it feels mm-hmm. it feels like inside the earth like mm-hmm. inside like um in the inner earth yeah in the inner earth like mm-hmm. like um like how our earth is the earth we are on now is solid but the inner earth is like it's like in a different dimension but it's still all happening right now Mm -hmm. and so it's it's also solid but in our dimension it's not solid okay and would you say this blue crystal is near what part of the earth of the inner earth like what part would you be able to connect from the top like perhaps what near what continent or first thing the first thing and maybe it's because i'm partial but i don't know but south africa Mm -hmm. i felt south africa the first the the you know tip of africa Mm -hmm. so that's my whole body's shaking (laughs) (laughs) You're doing great. Okay. So if we were to go deep inwards through South Africa, we would perhaps reach this blue diamond or blue crystal? Yes, but mm-hmm. you could you could reach it really anywhere. Okay. From any part of the earth. You just have to go down. Okay. It's pretty much in the center. At the center, okay. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else around that's causing these lights as well besides this blue crystal? I think it's um the the people here. I think we're getting so much better. Like everybody is mm-hmm. becoming happier. Like not everybody, but mm-hmm. the people that are that are working on becoming happy. Yes, are definitely becoming happier and seeing the light mm-hmm. most of the time <laughs> mm-hmm. like I can see the light most of the time mm-hmm. sometimes how about that but on in general like in, as a whole mm-hmm. and so it's picking up like our vibrations very good and if you could describe what does it look like all around where the blue crystals at it's like a it's like a it's round and it's um it's like a pretty it's like a deep blue like uh what color blue could i say ocean blue without the green <laughs> and um I'm sorry, what was the question? Like, what does it look like? So, Yeah, around, like, where it's at. The, what's the room, the place that it's at? What does it look like, the crystal, where it's at? Okay, the place where it's at? Okay. Mm-hmm. I think there's people there that mm-hmm. that are around the crystal. Like, it's like the sun. It's like the sun inside the earth. Mm-hmm. There is a sun inside the earth. That is the sun. That is the the sun. Mm -hmm. That's their sun. This is our sun. Mm -hmm. But we can't really perceive it. But we can connect to it. Does it give out light like a sun? Not like, not like the sun, like, not like yellow light. Mm -hmm. 
gives out off blue and white light. And then it beams through our our dimension. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it if you, if you could see the light, but from the spaceship, I can see the light. Mm-hmm. And it picks up everybody's happiness and good vibrations, and it is rainbow colored. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you said that there is people around this crystal. Focus in on those people. Focus in. You're able to see and sense them very clearly, very clearly. Describe to me what those people look like. There's a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. Lots and lots of people. Um, but they're quiet. But they, I guess they're the people that live on the inner earth. How do they look? I see like lots of people with hair that's long, no curls. Like not everybody. Mm-hmm. But the people that have hair. That I don't see curly hair. Mm-hmm. And right now I see like beings that are tall and human like with dark hair and dark eyes. Mm-hmm. And they look pretty pretty. <laughs> they look pretty mm-hmm. and thin and um tall. What kind of clothing are they wearing? The first thing <laughs> so my first impression, um was like some sort of green clothing, like an elf. I don't, I don't know where that came from, but yeah, <laughs> like elf, elves clothing, clothing, and um, mm-hmm. but then also I see people with long flowy clothes on, white, lots of white. Let's see if there's someone among this crowd now that you are there and sensing them. See if there's someone that has a message for us. Someone that has a message. Go to whoever draws your attention. Whoever draws your attention. What do you see? I see a woman and she's got long white hair. Let me see if I can get a message from her. Mm. She came forward. Very good. See, See if you... Would you allow for her to speak through you? Would you allow for her to speak through you? Yes. Very good. So just feel, feel her energy, feel her energy there and allow for it to speak through you. Perhaps feeling it coming in through your crown and just allowing for her message to come forth and see what she has to tell us. Just allow. It's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. People on the surface, we know, we know you've been waiting for this transition. Mm -hmm. And it's coming. And it's definitely coming. And it's definitely going to be great. Mm-hmm. As I want to say, it's just hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. Because it's right now, it's hard times. Like, as in, it seems like it's taking forever. And yeah, it does. But just hold on. Mm-hmm. Just hold on. Well, first, first, I want to acknowledge you. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. We love you and we honor you. May I ask you questions? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, she said that you have a long, was it white hair? Yes. Would you be able to describe a little more of how you look? Okay. Um, I'm like uh, seven feet tall. And I am one of the older beings here. Mm -hmm. But I don't look as old as people on the top of the earth Mm -hmm. I want to say 700 years old my eyes are white 
almost like a like a light very light blue white in the iris mm -hmm. and i'm sparkly like like i have um my skin is like luminescent and so is my hair beautiful <laughs> and are you female yes and do you have a name that you go by um, it starts with a T. Twala. <laughs> That's the name that came out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's such an honor to talk to you. And can you tell us a little more? Would you be able to share with us a little more about this crystal as well as your civilization there? It's our sun. Mm -hmm. It's also um, the sun inside the earth. And basically the earth is a sun. You can get energy from this sun by connecting to it. Was this sun created at the beginning when Earth was created, or was it brought from somewhere else? I believe it was created with the Earth. Mm -hmm. And can you describe your civilization? Does the civilization have, um, is it, do they all look like you, or, do, or does everyone look different, like as far as races? There are, there are different races here. Mm -hmm. So not everyone looks like me. Mm -hmm. There's all kind of different people here. And, and there's different dimensions here. Mm -hmm. Different. So it's not just what I, where I am. I mean, where it is where I am. But like there are things like people in different lives and different. All right here, right now but I'm in one dimension and the others, however many there are, <laughs> are in, in the others, but they're all right here, like overlapped on top of each other. Okay. They're living separately. Would you say is there like portals to different dimensions from there as well? Seems like the portal, the big portal is the, the blue crystal sun in here. And can you tell us, uh, what are you wearing? I'm wearing white flowy clothes, um, like a, a dress. And can you tell us why, why do you wear white? Is that something you wear often? Yes. What's the reason why? It's just what I, I, I like. <laughs> it's, and it's, it's like a, it reflects light mm -hmm. and it just feels pretty. So you said you're maybe about 700 years old. Did, did, did you have children? I don't feel like I've had children, no. How about a partner? Do you have a partner? I have many partners. You have many partners? Yes. And do you mean like you have several, say, um... No, no, not like, not like lovers. Like throughout, I've had many partners. Um, okay. I don't see anybody specific right now. So like throughout my life, I've had many partners. Okay. Very good. And what is it that you do here? I help the sun, the, our crystal, our sun. Mm -hmm. I um, use my power, my energy to help it grow. And, and the, the reason I'm helping it grow is to help this earth. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm helping and there's others like me mm -hmm. and I use my hands and I hold it up to the to our son mm -hmm. and I connect with it and help the energy grow because I'm very strong mm. yes and you said you hold it up to the other son um, to the sun inside the earth. Oh, to the sun inside the earth. Okay. Do many others do this as well? Yes. Yes. So would you say, is this your role that you do here? One of the roles so, you do? I think this is definitely one of my roles. Okay. 
Would you be able to take us on a trip and just walk us through your civilization? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So um, if you can now just walk us through to, to places that you think would be significant for us to know. Of. Okay. All right. The, um, all right. So I'm going to walk you through like into a building. Mm -hmm. The buildings here are very beautiful and mm -hmm. they're like crystal. They are crystal. Like there, there's beds, you know, like, so I, I can take you into my room. Okay. And my room uh, is like a crystal bed. Mm -hmm. And it lights up from its own light. And so you can lay on it and, and heal mm -hmm. on this bed. And in my room, I only see one bed for like a person, one enough for me. Mm -hmm. um, and there's not much in this room. Like I, I see flowers. Um, I have flowers. Mm -hmm. Everything is so pretty here and it glistens. Everything like, uh, it's like, uh, it's, shi it's shiny, sparkly. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking you outside and, and so, cause I want to see the flowers. And there's, mm -hmm. and there's pretty, pretty, um, water. There's water everywhere. And the water sparkles. And would you say are all the buildings made of, made out of crystals? Let me see. Not all the buildings. Yes. Yes. Some of them are not like you can't see see straight through them. Like mm -hmm. they are made out of like um like a crystal crystalline crystal type material. Like some some are like hues of like pink and blue, different different hues. Would you say that they're tall? Yes, yes. So would you say that it's like a material that has crystals within it, like crystalline? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why is it that your buildings are made out of crystals? Um, I feel like it's part of the earth and maybe we also help make these buildings with our mind. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, you know, a joint effort between the earth and us. Good. And you said that you were going to show us the flowers? Yeah, and there's flowers everywhere, and they're so pretty, and they're, they they kind of like, they like dance, they dance with you, mm -hmm. and they're very happy, very lovely, very happy, all kind of different colors and different shapes, and they can feel you, and you can feel them, mm -hmm. um, without touching them, you could touch them. But they, they move with you. And if you sing, they'll sing with you. They'll sway with you. Is there any animals that you have there? I think there's many animals here. Would you be able to describe some of the animals you have? Well, there's like this, these birds. But they're so pretty. And they have the big eyes. Big, big, bigger eyes. Like, um... Not as big as like, you know, like the aliens with the big eyes, almond eyes, but kind of like a fourth of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so I see like um, tigers. Mm -hmm. um, and I see a giraffe. I think there's so many animals here and everybody's happy. Nobody has to eat each other. It's mm -hmm. like just, you know, everybody can live in peace in harmony mm -hmm. where, where I am. So there's no predator or prey. It's, it's just peaceful. And so it, all the animals and 
the, the flowers and, and the trees and everything is, we're just being, we're just being, we're, we're just alive. Like it, mm-hmm. we don't have to, we don't have to eat each other. How about, is there any animals that we would not be familiar with? There's rainbow animals here. Mm-hmm. I saw just like, as you asked, I saw like one and it looked like, um, like a duck build, uh, duck build platypus with rainbow wings. <laughs> 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 And does he fly with those wings? No, I don't think he. I mean, I think he, if he wanted to fly, he, he doesn't mm-hmm. need to use his wings. So, but he likes to swim. Mm. He likes to jump out of the water. And so, but if he wants to fly, he can fly, but he doesn't need his wings. <laughs> and he said he's made out of rainbows? He has rainbow colors all over him. Does he have fur? Yeah, he has fur. Anything else you want to share with us about your your home there? Do you all have um, any children? Yes, there, there are children here. Mm-hmm. I feel like I am Nadine. I'm her. And I, I don't feel like I have children. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe we just don't want to have children. I'm not sure why. So are you a, say, Nadine living inside the inner earth? Yeah, I feel like that's, that's, that's what is going on. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Anything else you want to share with us about your civilization? Anything else that stands out that you think would be important for us to know? Well, we've been here for a while, a long time. Mm-hmm. And... Um, we really don't get old like people on top of the earth. Mm-hmm. And uh, hopefully soon our way of like being can really, really soon be on top of the earth too and spread throughout. And uh, that's what I'm hoping to do with the sun down here, the blue sun, and I'm helping it radiate out. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for this beautiful tour. It's been a delight to to be part of. Thank you. And do you have a message for Nadine up here? I love you. I am you. And we will integrate soon. And everything's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Just hold on. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. It has been such an honor to talk to you. We love you. We honor you. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now if I could connect back, connect back, connect back to that being there on the spaceship, looking at the scrolls, looking down at the earth. If I could connect back to her now. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you for connecting us there. Now I'm curious um, to see what else you can tell us about who you are here on the spaceship and what else, what is it that you do for earth? Well, I feel like, um, I am here now as we speak, I am up in the spaceship right now. Mm -hmm. My energy and people on this ship energy we're here to just help to, to, to lend our, our like, like a lending hand. We're just like radiating our energy onto this earth. Mm-hmm. And we're just waiting. <laughs> and do you have a name for your race? I, I don't, I don't have to, I don't know. Very I'll good. <laughs> mm-hmm. And is there anyone else on the space, a spaceship be- besides you two yes i think there's like 20 or 30 others so let's go ahead and leave that scene let's leave that scene let's go to another important time another important time where we will find answers that we seek for your highest good
You are there now. What do you see? Sense a lot of stone. Like, uh, I just see stone and people like without shoes on, like gray, gray looking stones. Like the buildings are made out of stones. Mm-hmm. And uh, I see people with um, no shoes on and short, like uh, short skirts or dresses, like uh, like men. Like mm-hmm. like a uh, Roman days or or something like that, maybe even older. I it doesn't really feel like Roman. It feels like I, I just see a man and he doesn't have hair and he's kind of chunky and got a stomach, but he's got like um like a white or light colored short garment on like it comes Mm mid-thigh and i see stone tablets look at yourself do you feel like you have a body no i don't feel like i have a body how is it that you're there are you just watching yeah it's like i'm i'm just floating here okay tell me what else you see what else do you see of importance? It feels like like urgency, like people are kind of running, like just running, not, like not, not like full force or nothing, but like running, like running around upset about something, like in, in the streets. And there's a man with his tablet in his hand mm-hmm. but the, the guy the chunky guy why do you think he has a tablet in his hand what are you doing with it seems like they're in like the city and what is he doing with it That's, this is all I see it's um, franticness I don't know, but I feel something in my throat, like, mm-hmm. like, like, like there's fear. There's fear within you, or fear being. Like, I feel, I feel the people's fear. Oh, there's people's got fear. So tell me um, what's going on. You said that people seem frantic. Yeah. Why? Why? Did, let's figure out why. Why are they frantic? You're able to see and sense. What is it that they're frantic about? Like, it looks like, I feel like my first impression is a storm. A storm is coming. Mm-hmm. Something, something big or, or something, some, like either a storm or like people on white horses. I, I don't, I don't know what this, what is, what they're fearing. Mm-hmm. But it's something big. Okay. Let's just keep moving time along. Let's moving time along to st- until we discover what it is that they're fearing. Fast forward time a bit, just a bit, to see and stop where it is that you are able to find and see and sense what they're fearing. You are there now. What do you see? I see men riding on white horses and... They're coming to hurt these people Mm -hmm. in the town. Do the men on the white horses look different than the people in the town? Yeah. They look like, um, like a reptilian human people. So the men and the white horses look like human reptilian people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they wearing anything? Red and black and gold. Can people tell that they're reptilians or is that something that only you can see? I think so. And what is it that they're doing? I think definitely the the guy with the the tablet, he he knows. Mm -hmm. What is it that they're doing to the people as they're riding with their horses? I I think they're going to kill them, get them out of the way. They're a nuisance. 
to them. Let's keep watching. Keep watching. Tell me what happens next of importance. They look at him as like lowly, lowly beings. Um, they just want them out of the way mm -hmm. in this town. And are they getting them out of the way? Yeah. Yeah. They're killing them. How are they killing them? With sharp, sharp things. Mm -hmm. Sharp. I don't know what they are. They're sharp. They, they, there's like this. It doesn't look like I've long spear. It's like about three feet long, and at the end there is another like sharp edge, like a, like um like I. I don't know how to explain this. Like there's a, a handle and then there's like a long like sword looking thing and then there's like a thing at the end. At the end it's very small. And so that I just saw like one of the the beings like um cut cutting like a a small child. Mm. Cutting them with like 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 killing them, like cutting their like cutting the head off, mm. like for, right in front of the horse and like sweeping down and shh. Mm. yeah, mm -hmm. like they don't care of, about them. They don't. Mm -hmm. They don't look at them as. Um, they don't care about that life. They don't care. Yeah, let's keep fast forwarding. Keep fast forwarding in to when something else important happens. Well, the first thing the in my impression impression I saw like um a church mm -hmm. and there are children brought to the church and um things done bad to the kids, and some of them are held you know like as pets almost mm. were these children from the village? Yeah. Did they kill the parents? Let me see. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the older people were killed. And why did they choose these children and not chop their head off like that one child? I don't know. Maybe they just wanted to keep a few mm -hmm. for themselves. Okay. I don't know what they do with them. And they have them in the church? Yeah, I just saw a church and then the, um, it, it might be even their church, like the, the village church. It seems okay. like this, it's their church. Okay. And they brought them to their church and they've taken over this land. And Look among the children. Is there anyone you recognize? Anyone you see a similarity to? No. And you said that they're doing things to them, harming them? I really don't like to see stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know why I've came here. <laughs> okay, that's okay. You're here for a reason. Um, and you said that they're, they're harming them? Yeah, they're keeping, holding them captive. Mm -hmm. Cages. It's, it seems like they, they like wash them up and... You know, they don't keep them like dirty, mm -hmm. but they keep them for themselves. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't really. I really don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I'm trying to like look. I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. Do they keep them for a while, or is there something that they do eventually with them? I don't think they keep them forever. They um. Mm -hmm. They definitely don't let them go. Say when they're done so, with them, what so are they? they must they must kill them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Possibly, you know, I hate to say this, but you know, eat them. Do whatever they want. They they these people don't have um, morals, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. like what like a uh, like you do or like mm -hmm. I do. I mean, they don't really. I think they know that they're they're bad. They're they're doing like 
dark. They're, mm-hmm. How about that? I think they know they're dark, but they mm-hmm. that's how they that's what they like. Mm-hmm. So okay, so let's go ahead and fast forward, fast forward to see if there's anything else important to be shown within this time. It's like um, everything's dissolving, and it's not. It's like it's not even there anymore. It's like. It's like it's not even real. Mm-hmm. Like it happened, but it's dissolving into into like it's like a like when a how can I explain? Like everything's just dissolving. Like there's like the energy's just like that's like um, an imprint or something. Like it's not it's not even. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So let's leave the life now. Can I please speak to the higher self of Nadine? Yes. Am I speaking to Nadine's higher self now? Yes. Thank you. I honor you. I thank you. And I respect you for all the aid you have given us today. I know that you hold all the records of Nadine's different lives. May I ask you questions? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Now, um, you took her first to a life where, uh, see, she came in and she was in a spaceship and she was this uh, being that uh, had a, a oval type of face and had a friend there with her. Why did you take her to that life on that spaceship that's overseeing Earth? To show her that she is a galactic. She um, exists elsewhere other than Earth. Mm -hmm. Because she wants to not, she wants to belong to somewhere else so badly. Let me see what questions I have about that. So does this one, is this one of the, sh- is this ship um, over, stays above the earth watching? Yes. And what is it that they specifically do for earth? They're there with other, other um, races. All, there's all these races out there, but they're, um, they're just watching mm-hmm. really and sending their you know, positive energy. Very good. And that, for example, Nadine there on the spaceship, does she connect to this Nadine down here? She is now. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see what else. Why were they wearing a crown on their head? I think that's just um, what they like to wear. I don't really don't know if it's royalty or anything. I just think that they just like to put something on their head. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. And what did those girls that they had that they were looking over? What did those signify? The history of this earth, and um, and they're constantly writing and keeping records of what's going on. Mm-hmm. And just waiting. Everybody's waiting. Okay. Do they like keep track of like like certain things that are, occur? Do they like scroll them down, write them down? Yeah, it seems like it's just pretty mundane um, things that they are writing. They are nothing like because I feel like it's, it feels mundane right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, but. They're very excited, but the the language it just feels like um I, I don't really recognize it, so I don't, I don't know what they're writing. <laughs> okay. And uh, does this does this race them who they are? Does do they have a name for the race? I don't I don't know their name. That's okay. Is it because it's a not a a language that we could try to speak? Maybe that's it. 
-hmm. because I don't even, these beings, I don't, they don't look like anything I've heard of, like in this life. Okay. They they look like a mixture, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, there was like rainbows coming out of the earth. And can you tell us more about this rainbows? What do they represent? They represent the light on the earth and and the earth is um, becoming ready. I don't know when, but this is getting more and more ready, more than it's ever has um, since this process started. And it's becoming brighter and more colorful. And so I say, hopefully soon. And then um, you took us down to the inner earth where we were able to connect to another Nadine in the inner earth, which was so beautiful. Why did, why did we, um, why did we connect her to them? What was the purpose to that? To show her that she's strong and she does have power because sometimes she doubts. She, she just wonders like why like what is she doing here but um, I I wanted to show her Mm -hmm. that she is multi-dimensional and that she is very powerful and this this her there though she said that there's many different you could say worlds with inside the inner earth or existences yeah. This one that we saw, is there a number dimension that was? I want to say like seventh, between seventh and fifth, but seventh, maybe fifth, between seventh and fifth. And then you took her to a life where she was just observing and watching um, the reptilians on the white horses attacking the village. What, what time was that that you took her to? 1200. 1200? That's, that's what I see, 1200 mm-hmm. um, AD. Okay. And they were killing everyone? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then um, they did keep some of the children. What was the purpose of keeping the children? For their, their pleasure. Mm-hmm. That it's like dark pleasure. Mm-hmm. And by make uh, making these children also be in fear, were they feeding off their fear as well? Sure, <laughs> definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. <laughs> Anything else you want to share with us about this? Or as well, um, actually, why did it end up uh, she said it ended up looking like kind of like it dissolved, like it faded away. Why Why that? I think that's why it's like how everything is really. Like we're just, we're just here experiencing um, just different things. And even though I wasn't, I didn't have a body there, I did experience it by watching. So um, mm-hmm. I think everything it's real but it's not real and I guess if you take your attention off of things or if you put your attention on the things mm-hmm. um, it that it affects you because you would put your attention on to something and if you take your attention off it's not real <laughs> but it is real I don't know if that makes sense but <laughs> mm-hmm Makes sense. And would you say that the reason also you might have showed it dissolving? Um, is it because uh, are you seeing like perhaps those times have are fading out of existence within Earth? Is that what you meant as well? Yeah, that's that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And is it that they're fading because we are healing? The earth is healing? The people are healing? Yeah. Yeah, because those those things, those times, 
even though there's things going on now, I'm sure, <clears throat> at this moment, as we speak, horrible things are going on, and good things are going on, everything is going on, but yeah, it's, things are, like, shifting, like, things are um, moving on, and yeah, I think that the 3D uh, way <laughs> of suffering is is becoming like yesterday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Very good. Now, out of all those lives, is there anything else you want to add on why you showed her any of those lives? No, I think I'm good now. Very good. May I now ask for a body scan please hi yourself if you could please scan her body now and let me know if you need any aid from any of the archangels if we could please scan her body now for any energies entities anything? i'll take some help <laughs> very good and would you who would you like to aid with the body well, scan i'll take um archangel metatron and mm -hmm. archangel michael very and, good. Mm -hmm. um maybe uh archangel Azrael. Yes, beautiful, okay. very good. If we could please call on Archangel Ezreal, Archangel Michael, and Archangel Metatron. If we could please call upon them now, and if we could first allow Archangel Ezreal to speak, I'd love to be able to connect to Ezreal, and just allowing so that he, he may start the body scan and seeing what is within that needs healing. Okay, hello. Hello, uh, is this Ezreal? If I could please speak to Archangel Ezreal now. If I could please speak to Archangel Ezreal now. Hi. Greetings, brother. Is, is this Ezreal? Yes, love you. Thank you, and I love you. <laughs> it's so beautiful to have you here. Not often do we get to have you help out, so I love that she chose you um, one to help out today. Thank you. Thank you. If you could, um, we are looking to perform a body scan and the higher self asks for aid. If we can go ahead and scan her body now, scan her body now, Asriel. And if you could just lead the way for us, scan her whole body and let us know if there's any energies, entities, any type of blockages that need to be heal healed right away. Let me know what you find. Okay, there's something... Um at the back of her neck on the right side. What is it, Astro? It, it pinches her. It's always mm -hmm. it pinches her. Is it an entity? Is it an implant? What is it, uh, Astro? Entity. It's an entity. Very good. Um, Astro, would you be able to help us please guide that entity up, up, up? We would like to speak to that entity now. If we could please speak to you now. Come up, up. Greetings. Hello. Thank you for speaking to us. May we ask you questions? Yeah. Can you um, tell us, please? Thank you. We appreciate you answering questions. We honor you and we thank you. Um, when was it that you connected to her neck there? She was a baby. What was going on that allowed for you to come in as it come attached to her as a baby? Um, she got in a wreck with her grandfather. She got what? She got into a wreck with her grandfather in the car. Oh, okay. And she was a baby? Yes. Was she in a car seat? No. And what happened to her? Well, he um, he was drunk, and he was babysitting her, mm -hmm. and she was in the car, car in the seat, standing up, mm -hmm. eating candy, <laughs> mm -hmm. and he wrecked into a ditch, and she fell into the floorboard, mm -hmm. and hurt her her back and her neck. Mm. So is this when you entered, when she hurt her back or her neck? It must have been. Was this a contract? I don't know. Okay. Did you have a body before you entered here? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Before you entered her, where did you come from? 
I don't know. Okay. Well, we know that you've been there a long time as she is uh, you know, older now and you attached when she was a baby. We'd love to be able to age you now, age you so that you may remove yourself from having to be stuck in her body so that you may be free and have your own experience perhaps somewhere else and not having to be stuck to someone's body. Would you allow for us to age you today so that you may be free as well? Yes. Wonderful. If we want you to look within you, look inside of you and find that light within you. And we're going to help you spread it, spread it to all that is of you, every root, every core, all that is of you, spread it to all light, everything that belongs to you and does not belong to her. Spread it to all light and let us know once you are all light. Okay. Beautiful. Now, if you could please release yourself, pull yourself out. Pull yourself out and let us know once you're all out. Make sure you don't leave any piece of you behind. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, now that you are of light, can you can I ask you a couple questions, please? Okay. Yes. Do you feel that you ever had a body? I don't know. Do you not remember? No, I don't remember. Oh. Okay. And what discomfort were you causing her being there? Her neck, her, her neck, made her neck hurt. Um, made her twist up um, on the right side of the body from her shoulder to her neck. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, do you know where it is um, that you're going to go next? No. Would you allow for the angels to guide you? Guide you where it is that you're meant to go? Yes. Wonderful. And can we follow you along? Can we follow along and see where it is that you go? Okay. Thank you. Let us know along the way. What do you see? I see a tunnel. Mm -hmm. And the angels have their hands out and they have their hands in and behind them, almost next to them. Mm -hmm. We're following up a tunnel. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to a bright light. Very good. Do you have any message for her before you go? Thank you for letting me stay with you. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead and go with the love and light of the universe. Blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you. If I could please speak to Archangel Azrael now. We could speak to Archangel Azrael now. I'm here. Thank you, brother. Can we have Archangel Raphael and the higher self start filling in that light where that entity was removed in the near neck? Yes. Thank you. And can you scan her body? And I know she just mentioned that in that car wreck, that car accident, she did um, hurt her neck and her back. How does how how does her back look from that incident? There, there's a place in her mid back has pain now. Mm -hmm. Let's scan that area now. Let's go ahead and scan that area. Focus on it. Let's see what it is. Is there an energy, an entity? What is there that is hurting her? It's an energy. Is it in, I think it's an implant. Mm -hmm. Very good. And can we go ahead and start transmuting that now, Ezra? Yes. If we can start transmuting, transmuting the implant there in her back, please. Okay. Can, should I help with my Phoenix fire? Definitely, yes. Good. Doing that now. And can you tell me, what was that, when was the implant placed there? I think it was placed there when she had that dream. Which dream was that? The dream where something was sticking in her bag um, recently. Oh. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us how that happened, Azrael? How did they insert that into her bag? I see like a device, um, a black device, and it has like a tiny thin sheath. 
Mm -hmm. And it's, they put it in these veins. Um, they put it in her back. Um, they stick it inside her skin. And this happened while she was sleeping? Yes. And how come she was still able to remember that through her dreams? Well, she didn't see that in her dream. I yes. just see that. I saw that now. But mm -hmm. um, it's, it seems like it's not in her. It was like a ethereal, in her ethereal body that that, that happened. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't physically taken out of her bed or anything. Okay. And why is it that they were allowed, able to do that to her ethereal body? What was the purpose to that, Asher? To keep her energy low. Mm -hmm. And she said that it was right around the time where she, um, the morning of the when she booked for the session that they did this to her. Yeah. Um, were they trying to stop some kind of healing for today or... Well, let's see if we can connect even deeper to Michael. Thank you, Azra, for speaking to us so far. If I could please speak to Archangel Michael now, please. Hello. Hello. Is this Michael? Yes. Thank you, Michael. Such an honor to speak to you. I love you and I honor you. Thank you for being here for with us. And uh, we were doing a body scan on her. We were talking to Azure, but she's having a bit of a hard time to connect deep enough. So we're hoping that you're able to can help her connect even deep enough. Um, we're looking at the implant and we're starting to transmute that now. The implant in her spine that was placed right um, around the time that she booked her session with me. And yeah. can you tell me what was the purpose and why they placed that on her? I think we're going to have to like try to connect me more because I can't, I'm not really, I can't feel anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to channel now energy. We're going to channel the energy up until you feel more connected. Okay. We're just going to keep working with Michael then. Okay. Okay. So just keep feeling, remember to allow like that river, allow like that river just to go through you, that higher self-consciousness. Let's see if we're able to connect to Archangel Metatron. Where do you feel like you're feeling a blockage at on you? That's not allowing for you to connect. Okay, so if we could work with Archangel Metatron then, since he does specialize a lot within the crown of the third eye. If we could please speak to Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron, if you could please work with us now, we'd love to be able to connect to you now, please. Hello, sister. Hello, brother. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We love you and we honor you. She is having problems connecting. She feels not deep enough. If you could scan her head now, and we're channeling energy over to her crown now so that she's able to allow for you or anyone else who's helping with the body scan to come through. If you could just help us, just clearing away any energy that is blocking there, any access energy. And can you scan her head and tell me what, what it is that's blocking her in her head? Metatron, please. Help her see and sense what it is. There's a, a black, black glob of like, it's like over her head, like hand almost, but it's like, it's thick and it's like almost like a liquidy, it's like, like, like a really thick hardened slime mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's dark. Okay. And she also has headache right now. So. Okay. It's, it's like squeezing in her head. Okay. Hi, herself. If you can um, help her calm her headache. And Metatron, can you surround that energy, whatever that is, into in, in one of your, um, if you could surround it with your symbols, please now. Surround it now. I don't think the cat likes it. <laughs> Very good. Uh, let's see. And then I just want to make sure, Metatron, that we're continuing to transmute that implant in her spine and let us know when that implant is done. Okay. Okay. Um, Metatron, can you tell me, does this blob looking hand thing have a consciousness? Can we speak to it? Metatron, you've placed it in the, 
it's sealed? Do you have it contained? I can't hear him. I can't feel him. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can feel him. I can't. I can't hear him. It's okay. Metron, if you could just keep communicating to her in whichever manner you're able to communicate to her through knowing, through feeling, through a sensing, not just hearing. I can, I can feel like protection. Mm -hmm. from you. Good. Have we sealed it then? Do we have a contain? I, th I, think, I think he does. Good. Very good. I see that it is contained. Very good. Now, um, Metatron, should I speak to this energy? Yes. Very good. If uh, Metatron, if you could help us speak to this energy now in her head, if we could please speak to you now. Come up, 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 up. Let me speak to you now, please. Oh, it's making my head hurt worse or, or, or something is. So, um, Higher self, higher self. Raphael as well, Archangel Raphael, if you could help her calm her her headache in her head, please. If we could please please speak, if you all can make her feel comfortable, please. If we could please speak to the entity, the energy there in her in her crown, if we could please speak to you now. Come up, 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 up. Let me speak to you now. I just see a a face and mean he's like going uh. mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think he's it wants to it's not happy mm -hmm. and how does this face look like 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 he's snarling mm -hmm. and he's dark he's got dark face like he's not he's like just real heavy and nasty okay Archangel Metatron, are we able to speak to this entity? I don't think so. Not, I, I'm not really feeling anything. I can't see. I can't. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just feel this heaviness on me. Let's see if I, I can. Let's see if we could try to talk to it. See if we're able to have it come. Um, so we have a higher self, helping the headache. We have Metatron, who has contained this this entity there in her in her head. I would like to speak to the entity there in her head. If I could please speak to you now, come up, 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 up. Let me speak to you now, please. Greetings. It's just a block. I don't. Okay. If we can start working with this Metatron, start sending light energy to this so that we're able to speak to it um, and see how we can remove it. Metatron, is this a reptilian? I'm totally blocked. I, I don't have anything. Do mm -hmm. I, is there something I need to do? To... Um, no, just keep surrendering. Just keep surrendering. Okay. All okay. Right. If we could start using the Phoenix fire around this entity without, say, transmuting it itself, but start cleansing and transmuting this energy around it. See if we're able to connect, help her connect deeper since she's blocked. We're transmuting negative energy around. Does not need it. Can I please try once more? If we can try once more, Metatron Michael Azrael, can we try once more and see if we're able to connect to this entity in her head? I would like to speak to the entity, the entity in her head now. If you could please come up, 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 up. Let me speak to you now, please. Go away. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. I understand that you want us to go away. We are here just to help you and uh, the client here, the person that you are attached to. May I ask you questions, please? Would I be? Yes. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you allowing for us to ask you questions. Thank you. When was it that you connected to her head there? I just see darkness. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is, are you a reptilian consciousness? Are you a reptilian? I don't right here I felt yes so I I believe it is okay very good if we could start working with you now um, being reptilian in her head there 
would love to be able to aid you today. I know that you seem to not want us here. However, we are here in honor and respect of viewing you as, as just an equal to us as well, where we honor you and we respect you. So we, we'd love to be able to aid you today so that you can free yourself from her head and also ascend. As you know, we are in a time where earth is ascending and beings are ascending. And we would love to be able to offer you a role to be able to positive polarize into a five dimensional or wherever it is that um, it is decided for you to go, but five dimensional Polar, positive polarization so that you may no longer have to be stuck in someone's body using up their energy. You may be free and be your own creator type of energy. Would you allow for us to help you today so that you may be free and no longer having to play this role, please? I think that that might be a good idea. Thank you. I felt very hateful just now and I made her feel hateful. I, she can feel it. Yes. Um, but you know, you talking about the light. I can just see the light. Good. Thank and I think you. That it might be a good idea. Thank you. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Beautiful. If you can find that light within you, find that light within you now and spread it to all that is of you, every root, every cord, all that belongs to you, your essence, spread it to all light and let us know once you are all light and we're just focusing love light upon you now. Thank you. Okay, I, I think I'm. Beautiful. I think I'm ready. Good. Now, if you can go ahead and remove yourself, pull yourself out. Make sure you don't leave any piece piece of you behind. Make sure you don't leave any piece of you behind. And let us know once you're all out. A lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let us know if you need any help. I would like some help. What would you like for us like to? Help. Should help I do? get her out? Just help me pull myself out of. Okay. We're going to help you pull. Yes. We're going to help you pull. Archangels, if you all can help him pull. Pull himself out, please. And just let me know when you're out. I feel like I'm out. Very good. Beautiful. If, if we could have the higher self and Archangel Raphael for the night, please. And thank you, Raphael, for being here. I'm not sure I, I remember acknowledging you. I love you and I honor you. If you can, thank you. If you all can fill in light, light to her head now where the um the now positive polarized being is, where he was at before when he was negative. Fill in light to that area now, please. Thank you for everyone's help. If I could please speak now to the positive entity there. If I could speak to you now, please. Well, I'm freshly positive, so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for allowing for us to aid you. Thank you. It has been such an honor to work with you. May I ask you questions, please? Okay. Thank you. When was it that you connected to her head? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Do you remember if it was this life or another? I feel, I feel like I've been there forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and how does it feel now that you are freshly positive, as you said? <laughs> well, seeing that I'm speaking through her, I can still feel her body. Her She, does, she feels a little lighter, mm -hmm. but um, I feel lighter because... I can, or she can feel me, or I can feel her, I'm not sure. But even she or I, we both see light, like a golden light. Mm -hmm. So, I'm looking forward to being happier. Beautiful. And, let's see. Were you all connected, do you know, like, because I know she did some drug use, were you, do you know if you were part of either influencing that or what was it that you were causing her while you were in her, in her head? Well, it caused her to feel bad about herself. Mm -hmm. And I probably enjoyed the drugs and alcohol. Yeah. 
Okay. And that's just how it was. Okay. Is there any other message you have for us before you go? Hopefully now that I'm gone, you won't, you won't um, have dreams about getting high. And, and when there's times when I, um, I guess I made her mm-hmm. feel bad. And uh, I, I don't know if I made her feel bad. Maybe she just felt bad, but mm-hmm. I helped. I think I helped her want to, to escape. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Or maybe she'll feel better now. Yes. And can you tell us before you go, can you see, can you look at her body? Is there any more entities or reptilian consciousness like you in her? I want to say in her bladder. In a bladder, in her bladder, there is there is um, entities. There's something. Okay. Definitely something. Okay. Well, thank you, thank you for your aid today. Um, and blessings to you, thank you on your journey to come. We love you and we honor you. Go ahead and go with thank the love you. and light of the universe. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if I could please speak to Archangel Michael now. If I could please speak to Archangel Michael now. Thank you, Brother Trump, for your aid in the head. You're welcome. Make sure, thank you. Make sure we're filling that in now, the light. Okay. Metatron, actually, before I speak to Michael, can you scan her head one more time? Is there anything else in there? Is there anything else that needs healing in her head, Metatron? Um, well, that place that um, the last one that was taken away is still hurts. It's not as bad but it's like seems like it's it's moving down to the left side of my sinuses or front of my face okay so what was was that connected to her sinuses third eye face it it was like it was like sitting halfway on my head <laughs> Mm-hmm. so it was like it must have been okay so can we go ahead and um transmute and heal whatever is uh and that negative energy remains there in that area in her head because of it can we go ahead and heal that medicine yes are we doing that now yes thank you anything else that needs to be looked at in her head you might have to come back and see. Okay, very good. Yes, and then um, while you're there and you're healing and transmuting that area, can you also uh, just uh, open up her pineal gland with her higher self permission if there's any uh, upgrading there, any uh, clearing up and making it stronger, please. Okay. Thank you. Now, Archangel Michael, can you please, brother, welcome, and we thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Can you please scan her body now, Michael, and let us know if you find any energies, entities, any kind of blockages that need healing now, please. And then how... Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. ahead. No, you go ahead. There is... um, There's something in her left shoulder, and I believe it's from um, an infection that was in her tooth. Mm-hmm. And she she had that. She went to the doctor and she had her teeth taken out, and it was an abscess. And mm-hmm. I do believe that it um it was from some nanotechnology mm-hmm. um, infection, and mm-hmm. because it knows no boundaries, it um it's moved down. Mm-hmm into my arm and um Mm. at first it moved in it i could feel it in my heart Mm -hmm. and uh i decided that if i didn't want to die i might need to do something so i took um some diatomaceous earth um something i'd asked you to ask about earlier Mm -hmm. so it i felt like it helped me and um Mm -hmm. and then i did like um a cleanse 
uh, colon cleanse that had uh, sulfur, some sort of sulfur and vitamin C, uh, thal uh, sulfate, or thal sulfate, or something, and um, it seemed to to clear up a lot of it. So it didn't mess my heart. It might still be around there, but I felt like it wasn't it wasn't going to kill me. But it's I think it's got to my arm, and okay. I I, I guess let's try to see if there's an entity in, in it. Yes, Michael, can you also see? Horrible. Can you also see if there's any more nano technology there that like she mentioned? Yeah, I think her body is full of nano technology. Mm -hmm. um, from that or just overall? Or? Overall. And where does she get the overall? Like, give us some examples of how she got this nano technology in her. From the air? Mm-hmm. Do you mean like the chemtrails? She first noticed it. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. When she moved into this house that she bought. Mm -hmm. um, it would talk to her in her head. Mm -hmm. And her forever. And... Um, she, her boyfriend told her to take diatomaceous earth mm -hmm. and because she was very, she had allergies really bad. And mm -hmm. so she did, she came back from, a um, Boston. Um, she went to visit her friend and she got stuck on, stuck somewhere in, in an airport and they were really mean to her there. And, mm -hmm. Uh, it could be possibly that, that she got it from there because they kept making her go through x-rays and they made her stay there with a whole uh, other plane full of people that they said they all told, they told them all that they couldn't get on a plane. And it was too busy. And though, so everybody sat there for like eight hours in some weird, creepy place and they kept putting them through all these x-rays and after she came back from this this trip about a week later um it was like um she basically was like in a sci-fi horror movie <laughs> mm -hmm. and like she was obsessed with um getting in a tanner bed and so she she decided to clean up the house, but she wanted to get her skin better. And so she mixed up some sugar and salt and um, co extra virgin coconut oil. And she put it all over her skin and she ran around the house cleaning up, you know, with the, her whole body with it on. And um, so she decided that she wanted to get a tanning bed and she wanted to dry her skin out. So she decided to get some hot hot boiling water and put garlic in it and put salt in it and mix it up and she waited till it got cool enough mm -hmm. and she put her fingers in there to see if it was hot hot too hot because she was going to pour it over her so she could detox her, her body mm -hmm. and she put her fingers in and it looked like feathers were coming out of her fingers and she's like, Oh, and then she tried it again, like to dip her finger in to see if it was warm enough or, or too hot. And, and she saw feathers coming out of her fingers and, mm -hmm. um, she thought maybe she was crazy. She's so, she said, Let, let's just get back in the shower. Let's just get in the shower and do what we're going to do. And so we can go to Santa bed. Mm -hmm. And so she poured this um, mixture on, on her head and all over her body. And as soon as that happened, a million things like shot out of her skin, like, and it 
lasted for like 20 minutes, maybe. Mm -hmm. And it was so, it was very terrifying. And it's possible that uh, I don't, I don't know. It seems like Mm -hmm. the, the x-rays at the um, airport Mm -hmm. turned that, that on Mm. and activated whatever was in her body okay very good if we can go ahead and just um use phoenix fire or any type of uh, fire element from the archangels your own fire elements higher self white light if we could go through her whole body and just transmute and disintegrate any nano type of technology in her all of it please from head to toe okay If we could do that now, please. Are we doing that now? I I just, I I see like purple light. So maybe that's, maybe they're saying yes. I can't hear anything. Good. Metatron, are you using purple light? Yeah, I see it as well. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, And can you tell me a little more about this occurrence? So they did this to the whole, the whole flight? Um the the flight back is when they some play people these two people in well i could tell you the airlines it was um something airlines they seems like they i don't know but it seems like they picked out certain people and mm-hmm. and told them that we couldn't get on the planes and that we were going to have to stay there overnight. And I told them, no, I paid for a ticket to come home and uh, I'm going to come home. So anyways, it seemed like, um, so how many people did they do this to that they chose? Like a, a whole, a whole flight, uh, a whole plane ride, a uh, uh, load. It was like a plane picked this up finally, like eight hours later. And no one questioned this. <laughs> Oh, we also we were so mad. They were so mean to us. Like it was, it was like different people. And finally, after eight hours, like I stood up and I said, "What the hell? When it, when are we going home? I've been here for eight hours." Somebody else said, "I've been here for six. And then everybody started talking, and but we were all sitting in the room by ourselves. Mm-hmm. It was like a really huge room. I, I, I don't know. Um, that is so I'm, strange. I wonder if anybody from that plane had same thing that happened to me like Archangel Michael Archangel Michael if you could help us help us take us back to that time take us back to that time where this this airplane people did that to her and these people if you could help her see and sense back to that time now back to that time Archangel Michael if you could tell me who what was their agenda and who was it behind that they decided to do these to these people? All I see is hatefulness and I mm-hmm. was there yeah. children as well too? No, no children. Just adults? Yes. And what can you, Michael can you show us what was the purpose? What was the purpose of them doing that to all those people? Make them feel horror and bad. Make well, them sick. Was this a kind of experiment? Not getting anything. It's okay. All right. Very good. Um, if we could just continue transmuting all that nanotechnology in her now, please. Okay. I'm going to go through some of the things that she wanted to address specifically. Archangel Michael, now that we've uh, transmuted the reptilian off her crown, she should have a stronger connection. So if she just keep surrendering, allowing for the flow of information to come through. That blockage is not there anymore. Now they're just healing whatever was left. Um, if we can go ahead and scan Michael, if you can scan her whole body now. Scan her whole body for any entities, negative implants, any portals, any negative hooks, any reptilian consciousness. Help her see and sense. Help her see and sense where we need to heal. I just still have like a really bad headache. Like, it's like something's like squeezing the left side of my head. Okay. Um, Michael, Metatron, can we look at her head one more time? What is that? Why is she having that? I feel like I'm boxed. 
Metatron, can you push through again? If you Metatron, if you could please push through with your energy once more. Can you push through and see, help her see and sense what's there? What else does she have in her head? Does she have anything else? Something that's just trying to say stop. Where is it? Help her see and sense where this is, voice is coming from, saying stop. It's, 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 the pain is from the left side of her head, like, like right here. Metatron, can you tell us what's there on her left side of her head? I'm just, I'm blocked. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We're just going to keep channeling the energy. You've been in there some time. So this is the time. This is the time that you want to surrender so that we can heal everything within you. You've been in there longer than expected already. Okay. So, okay. So this is the time. Allow, allow for yourself to be healed completely today. We're channeling quantum energy over to you so that you may allow what needs to be healed within you to be healed and i know that we are healing the nano technology within her those nanobots and how about the implant in her spine metatron is that gone now um it's not gone it's not gone yet i don't think so it should have been gone by now what's holding it back I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should just stop. Why should we stop? I don't think it's, I don't think, I can't get, I, I feel just blocked and I feel like it's just, it's taking so long and I, I, just, I feel like I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I well, that's like okay. I'm, We're here. Let's try for a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. Um, I know that we, uh, from experience with people who've had drug use for uh, a long time, like she did, uh, typically they will, they will have uh, many things within them that will block them and uh, AI type of technology within them that truly that's what it is. The drugs, it's nano and AI technology that's controlling them. So can we go ahead now, all of us, higher self, and the collective consciousness of angels. If we can now just heal her with the higher self permission, higher self, do you give permission to heal any type of um, influence she had from the drugs that she may have attached to her still? And also it is, um, it is normal that with these type of uh, drugs, they uh, mess with the psyche and the energy and the body. So it could be harder for her to connect and block because of these. So okay. can we go yes, ahead and please. transmute and heal all that is within her from the damage, any type of technology, any type of viruses, um, whatever that you can think of that was anything that was related to the drugs that she used. Can we go ahead and all of us focus on transmuting and disintegrating all of it now from her body, please? Okay. Yes. Good. And if you could help us too, help us too, envision, envision every single virus, technology, everything within you that you no longer serves you, Okay. releasing and healing okay. and transmuting. Okay. You keep envisioning that as well. So help us out. That'll help it amplify it. Okay. Thank you. And as we do this, just let, let us know if you see any changes, anything that you need to tell us about, please. Let me know what you're seeing, seeing, sensing, feeling. I feel, I feel um, lighter. I see purple. Good. And I'm um, imagining everything like turn into water. Beautiful. And droplets of water and just going away from me. Very good. And since we're doing this um, collective of angels there and her higher self, can we just go ahead and just sweep her whole body and remove any entities, negative implants while we're there, negative portals, anything that is there that should not be here for her highest good that's holding her back, dense. If we can go ahead and help as well, any entity, anything else that's there into the light, please. Yeah. If we could all just do it together as a collective and just help everything out please okay thank you and let me know what you start seeing and sensing as we're as we're healing and transmuting energies within you 
pray. Thank you. I see like um, golden light from everyone. Like I see many, but I don't see anybody's faces or really. I just see um, a group of angels, beings around me, and light coming from everybody, everybody's hands, and their um, solar plexus and their heart. Beautiful. Very good. Just keep talking to me as you see different things. Okay. I still see purple, purple light. Good. I'm starting to feel lighter and my head's starting to feel better. Good. 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 And probably if I got to move around, my back would probably feel better. So. Mm -hmm. I, I believe and I trust in myself and in you and in the angels yes and, and your higher self absolutely in my higher self and <laughs> and i believe that now and then it will continue to happen this healing and the energy will still be here and yes i believe that you all can probably take a break now because i'm going to keep this with me mm -hmm. Until, until forever. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, and once you've tapped into this energy, and you know what it feels like, and you can always bring it back in just by breathing how we've taught you to breathe. And yeah, with the and higher self. Feel it. Mm -hmm. And I can feel it now, and I feel so much better, and my whole body feels like um, tingly. And Good. And I thank you. Thank you. We thank you for allowing for us to aid you today. Michael, if you could help her, Metatron, everyone, if we could help her one more time, I want to make sure we don't leave any reptilian consciousness. I want to make sure that we scan her whole body for any portals, reptilian consciousness, or negative implants. I want to make sure we don't leave any of that behind, please. Help her see and sense, draw her attention to wherever it is that she might have anything, if she has anything. I think she's fine. She does look really good. Good. Um, let's see while we continue the healing. If there's anything else. She wanted to be age regress. Can we go ahead and age regress her, please? Can we start the process? Sure. Very good. And also with the dental work she had done, can we just go ahead and heal her, her entire mouth and make sure it's good to go? Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Let's see if there's anything else. Are we doing that now? Yes. Good. Okay. And she wanted to know also if she was targeted, like with weapons, um, like, uh, you know, she called it, I'm trying to find the question here, microwave, is that what she called it? Directed energy weapons. Yes. Is, did that happen to her? Yeah, I feel like it did. <laughs> Mm hmm okay can we just make sure that um we heal all that residue of that directed weapons okay good we doing that now yes okay okay I'm trying to make sure that we heal any ailments that she had she said in her joints and as um left arm and shoulder her joints and hips is there anything that can be released there what's causing that pain there i think it's infection that moved down from from her mouth okay good i know we started healing that earlier okay do you have any information for her on the event she's already experienced some of the event last mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. um and it's just it's still continuing, and that's all the information that I have right now. Okay. Okay. And then I, wanna, I don't want to miss, she also added that she wanted her kidneys and her bladder healed. Can we heal that now, please? Yes. Okay. Is she, is she tired? 
Yeah, she's yeah. tired. And she feels exhausted. She needs to rest. Okay. Okay. Well, we did such a beautiful job. We I see do see that her energy is all cleared up, and the majority of of all the healing, um, well, the healing that she had listed is all done. Uh, will this continue while she sleeps as well? Yes. Yes, it normally does. Very good. Thank you so much for all your aid to all the different archangels, everyone who aided today, um, whoever I didn't mention, as well as the higher self. Thank you. And higher self, do you have anything else? Is there any other question I could have asked that I haven't asked? No, not today. I appreciate everything that you've done. And thank you to all the angels. I love you and I honor you too. So, uh, thank you thank you everyone it really was great thank you so much i really really appreciate it yes thank you thank you can i please bring her back now yes, yes. good oh gosh <laughs> welcome back yay hey. <laughs> <laughs> you did so good oh i did you did oh. that that oof, that thing in the head was a tough one yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's I think it's going to take some time to heal that one up. <laughs> yes, um, it is. Uh, it's removed, but you know, some of the residual type of healing will continue after. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not something that's done instant, especially when it was that deep and it was deep into. I could see it too, like you explained. It was deep into the into the third eye. You so can see was, like where I said it. Like yeah, oh God, yeah. That's yeah. why your sinuses. I knew that your sinuses had to do with something like that. I knew. Um, I knew too that because it just happened today, yeah. and I, I think today it was like it, it must have known. Like damn it, it's today. Yeah. I'm going to get her as best I can. <laughs> <laughs> but you did so great. Don't be so hard on yourself. It, you know, I know that you're kind of like, oh, I wish, you know, maybe I wouldn't have been so blocked or stopped myself. You did phenomenal. We were oh, able to get um, those, that, that information you gave for the inner earth and all those was so beautiful. So that. Yeah. Was, just whatever I, you want to, um, whatever you feel like sharing yeah. because um, it, it all, I mean, anything, anything on there, because I'm sure it like it would, even the crazy, scary stuff at the end, yeah. probably could help, help somebody. Maybe yeah, somebody else absolutely. had a terrible time and they, yeah, might, yeah. you know, feel alone. So. But I was seeing things. So like, that's why I was asking you about oh. the fingers, because I saw that there was, um, like, you did, I did. I saw that they had, and I was waiting for you to say it. You, you wouldn't say it, but you eventually said it that they had like round things at the bottom like little yeah like yeah yeah that was interesting and then i saw that they had long arms and long legs i was like Ooh. um so yeah so oh wow thank you. that was fun. that's crazy okay yay. yeah yeah so <laughs> let that be a confirmation for you with you and i saw that thing there in your head and i knew, did. I knew it was a reptilian and that's why i kept asking um yeah, so I'm glad we removed that. And I'm so happy that, oh, you could feel that when he came in. He was like, what are you? I forgot what he said, but he was like, what do you want? Or something like that. He's like, like, go away. <laughs> go away. Yeah, he you just feel it. That's all he wanted. He just wanted to get, get away. And yeah. I just wanted him to, like, stop it. But <laughs> you could feel his vibration. And, yeah, it was like, you, Yeah. Oh, that's heart. awesome. I'm so was, glad. I'm so glad yes. that you could see stuff like this. You're so mm -hmm. awesome and so caring. And I appreciate you. So oh, thank you so much. Thank you. This was so much fun. Thank you. Right, thank, thank you, you so much, right. sister. Okay. I love Bless you so you. much. You were amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Blessings to you. Thank you. Blessings to you. Talk to you later, love. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye.